Brought to you by wikivd.com Melanie Griffith Melanie Richards Griffith is an American actress. Griffith began her career as an adolescent in non-speaking film roles before making her credited debut opposite Gene Hackman in Arthur Penn's Night Moves. She rose to prominence for her role in Brian De Palma's Body Double, which earned her a National Society of Film Critics Award for Best Supporting Actress. Griffith's subsequent performance in Something Wild garnered critical acclaim before she was cast in 1988's Working Girl which earned her a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actress and won her a Golden Globe. The 1990s saw Griffith in a series of roles which received varying critical reception. She received Golden Globe nominations for her performances in Buffalo Girls and as Marion Davies in RKO 281 while also earning a Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Actress for her performances in Shining Through as well as receiving nominations for Crazy in Alabama and John Waters' cult film Cecil B. Demented. Other roles include in John Schlesinger's Pacific Heights Milk Money, the neo-noir film Mulholland Falls as Charlotte Hayes in Adrian Lyne's Lalita, and Another Day in Paradise. She later starred as Barbara Marks in The Night We Called It A Day, and has appeared on the television series Nip, Tuck, Raising Hope and Hawaii Five Zero. After acting on stage in London, in 2003 she made her Broadway debut in a revival of the musical Chicago, receiving celebratory reviews that made it a box office success. Early Life Griffith was born in Manhattan to actress Tippi Hedren and Peter Griffith, a former child stage actor and advertising executive. She is of Swedish, Norwegian, German, and English descent. Griffith's parents divorced when she was four years old, after which her father married model actress Nanita Green, and had two more children, Tracy Griffith who also became an actress and Clay A. Griffith. A set designer, her mother married agent and producer Noel Marshall. During her childhood and adolescent years she lived part of the time in New York with her father, and part-time in Antelope Valley, California where her mother formed the animal preserve Shambhala. Griffith appeared in advertisements and briefly worked as a child model before abandoning the career, citing extreme shyness as the reason. While attending the Hollywood Professional School, Griffith was advanced in her studies which allowed her to skip a grade level and graduate at age 16. Career Griffith began acting at nine months of age in a commercial, and later appeared as an extra in Smith and the Harrod Experiment. Her first major role was in Arthur Penn's Night Moves in which she did several racy nude scenes, at the age of 17, this drew attention to her and typecast her as a nymphette in films such as Smile, The Drowning Pool and One on One. She was cast as Melanie, the daughter of her real-life mother, Tippi Hedren in the film Raw directed by then-stepfather Noel Marshall. During the filming she was attacked by a lion and had 50 stitches to her face. It was feared she would lose an eye but in the end the wound was not disfiguring. She then appeared in the made-for-television movie S.A. Cheese in the Army now with Jamie Lee Curtis and Stephen Bauer whom she married shortly after the film premiered. Griffith's well-known drug and alcohol addictions stalled her career but she made a comeback at age 26 with her role as a porn actress in the Brian De Palma thriller Body Double. The film, although a commercial failure, earned her the National Society of Film Critics Award for Best Supporting Actress. It led to her first starring role in Jonathan Demme's Something Wild, which became a cult favorite. Griffith also starred in the science fiction film Cherry 2000 which went straight to video in 1988 but has also become a cult favorite.
she achieved mainstream success. When Mike Nichols cast her as spunky secretary Tess McGill in the box office hit Working Girl, co-starring Harrison Ford, Sigourney Weaver, Alec Baldwin and Joan Cusack. Griffith's performance was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress, and won her the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Musical or Comedy. Griffith's next major role was opposite Matthew Modine in the urban thriller Pacific Heights. She worked continuously in mainstream films throughout the 1990s, starring in features such as The Bonfire of the Vanities with Tom Hanks and Bruce Willis. Shining through an A Stranger Among Us Born Yesterday with then husband Don Johnson Milk Money, and Nobody's Fool Now and Then and Too Much where she co-starred with Antonio Banderas, whom she married the year the film was released. Griffith received a Golden Globe nomination for her performance in the successful TV movie Buffalo Girls alongside Angelica Houston. In 1998 she appeared in Woody Allen's Celebrity which featured an all-star cast. Later that year, she starred as a free-spirited heroin user in the independent film Another Day in Paradise, a performance that some critics described as the best of her career. In 1999, Griffith starred in Crazy in Alabama, a film directed by Banderas and produced by Green Moon Productions, the company that she and Banderas formed together. In the film, Griffith played an eccentric woman who kills her husband and heads to Hollywood to become a movie star. Also in 1999, Griffith made her stage debut at the Old Vic in London, England, where she acted with Kate Blanchett in the Vagina Monologues. In the HBO made-for-TV film Marqueo 281 she played 1920s and 1930s movie star Marion Davies, and received an Emmy nomination for her portrayal. In 2000 she co-starred with Stephen Dorff in Cecil B. Demented and Patrick Swayze in Forever Lulu. In 2002, she voiced the character of Margalo the Bird in 102 Dalmatians. In 2003, Griffith made her Broadway debut playing Roxy Hart in the musical Chicago. Untrained in song and dance, she still impressed New York Times theater critic Ben Brantley who wrote, Ms. Griffith is a sensational Roxy, possibly the most convincing I have seen and the vultures who were expecting to see Ms. Griffith stumble will have to look elsewhere. Griffith's celebratory reviews made it a box office success. She returned to the stage in 2012 in a play written by Scott Kahn titled No Way Around But Through, in which she played his mother. She played C.A.A.N.'s mother again during 2014-16 in a recurring role on his television show Hawaii 5-0. In 2016 she filmed with CAAN's father James Kahn and John Voigt in a TV movie titled JL Ranch. After that, she will act with Al Pacino in the film Where the White Man Runs Away. Prior to Hawaii 5-0, Griffith's television work included the short-lived WB sitcom Twins, and the 2007 series Viva Lachlan which was cancelled after two episodes. Her 2012 television pilot, This American Housewife, was not picked up by Lifetime. In the interim, Griffith guest starred on Nip, Tuck and Hot in Cleveland. In 2014 Griffith reunited on screen with Banderas in the science fiction film Automata directed by Gabe Ibanez. She filed for divorce that same year. She then had roles in several other films, including Day Out of Days directed by Zoe Cassavetes and opposite Al Pacino, and Evan Peters in Where the White Man Runs Away, a biopic about journalist Jay Bahada. Griffith was also cast in James Franco's The Disaster Artist, a comedy based on Greg Sestiris' book The Disaster Artist. In 2016 she signed to be a guest star on Hula's The Path in 2017 she has signed on to play Mrs. Robinson in the stage version of The Graduate from October 4, 22.
at the Laguna Playhouse in California. Philanthropy Griffiths supports the efforts of Children's Hospital Los Angeles helping to lead Walk for Kids, a community 5K, to raise funds as part of the hospital's community awareness efforts in support of the opening of a new state-of-the-art pediatric inpatient facility. She also participated in the hospital's 2012 Noche de Ninos Gala as a presenter of a Courage to Care Award. Personal Life At age 14 Griffith began dating Don Johnson, her mother's 22-year-old co-star in The Harrod Experiment. The relationship culminated in a six-month marriage from January to July 1976. She was later romantically linked to actors Jack Nicholson, Warren Beatty and Ryan O'Neill. In her autobiography A Paper Life Tatum O'Neill alleged that Griffith dragged her into an orgy with Maria Schneider and a male hairdresser during the time of her father's relationship with Griffith. On September 8, 1981 Griffith married Stephen Bauer, her co-star from the TV film S.A. Cheese in the Army Now. They had a son Alexander Griffith Bauer born on August 22, 1985. The couple divorced in 1989 after a long separation. Griffith later admitted to having problems with cocaine and liquor after her split from Bauer. What I did was drink myself to sleep at night, she said. If I wasn't with someone, I was an unhappy girl. In 1988 after completing rehabilitation Griffith reconnected with Johnson. They remarried on June 26, 1989. Their daughter Dakota Johnson was born on October 4, 1989. They separated in March 1994 reconciled later that year but separated again in May 1995. Griffith then fell in love with Antonio Banderas, her married co-star from Too Much. After their respective divorces were finalized, Griffith and Banderas married on May 14, 1996. Their daughter Stella del Carmen Banderas was born on September 24, 1996. In 2000, Griffith returned to rehab for treatment of a painkiller addiction. In August 2009, Griffith returned to rehab again for what her publicist called part of a routine plan. She had a three-month stay. In December of that year she had surgery for skin cancer. In June 2014 Griffith and Banderas released a statement announcing their intention to divorce. In a loving and friendly manner, according to the petition filed in the Los Angeles Superior Court the couple had irreconcilable differences that led to the divorce. In December 2015, their divorce was finalized. Banderas has stated that he will always love Griffith, and Griffith appeared alongside Banderas in the 2014 film Automata, which they filmed amidst their divorce proceedings. Griffith is a registered member of the Democratic Party. Brought to you by Wikivd.com would you like to know more?